it's hard to see how you can lose in renewable and ESG. I mean, really, trillions of dollars in government funding, trillions of dollars in investing, home offices. Yeah, my, my only hesitation with renewable energy right now is a lot of these pr um, prices have really been bid up. Like, for example, if you look at iShares as a clean energy fund, a lot of their top holdings are actually trading at valuations comparable to your big tech firms right now. And it's because so much optimism has already been priced in. And short term, I think when the economy reopens and people want to start traveling and flying and driving again, I wouldn't necessarily discount your traditional energy as well. Because some of the new policies that are going in might actually restrict supply, which could be actually a positive thing for some of your more traditional energy. Right. So long term, I love right. your renewable like energy. Short term, I wouldn't discount your traditional sources. By the way, fantastic point. I think the Keystone Pipeline is an example of that. Uh, you know, in the past week, there was a precipitous decline in the number of winners. We had, from, uh, we had a majority of winners just a week ago to a majority of losers. So this rotation thing, I, I mean, there have been a lot of head fakes there. So, uh, you know, do we get a, a broad market rally in the second half of the year or do we just get a rally that's very selective still? No, I think this rally is going to continue. I actually kind of have to echo Shaw here. I completely agree that there's a lot of optimism. I think earnings and profits are arguably going to only continue to get better as we look forward, hopefully as we see the vaccine continue to get rolled out. But I think a lot of those cyclicals are really where you need to be looking. And that really started in early fall, and that's only continued. Like even this year, yeah, a lot of names just changed over the last week with some of the volatility. But some of our best performers are things like emerging markets, our small caps, our energy. So some of those things that we've been talking to have been the places to add are still actually outperforming when you look at them just even since the beginning of this year. And I would argue that only has a lot more room to run as we look forward this year. So be selective with where you're adding. Don't just keep adding to those big tech names. Um, you need to make sure you own the entire market as a whole, especially those cyclical.